Hello, I present our Beaus H30 in size large from 2021. OIS is available in two options, H with aluminium frame and this model is the cheapest one, and M with carbon frames. Apart from cranks, our bow is equipped with full 12-speed Shimano Dior 6100 group set, Fox suspension which can be blocked by squid lock lever and maxi Sycon tires. Most of the other parts are branded by our BEA sub-brand OC1. Bike in this configuration without dropper post weighs well over 14 kg, but it's also a very good candidate for further modifications. I managed to persuade the owner to make some decent changes and now the bike looks like this. Drivetrain is probably the best mix of XT8100 derailleur, cassette and chain, as well as SLX cranks and shifter. I did not change the brakes because they work very well. Pro FRS handlebar made from 2014 aluminium alloy with a 40mm of rise is responsible for more comfortable riding position. Bike rolls on the lightest racing version of Victoria Mescal TLR with a width of 2.25. I also replaced zoom seat post with a Bike Yoke Revive 2.0 dropper post with 185mm of travel and I added specialized bridge comp saddle. Heavy wheels on Shimano 410 hubs with cartridge bearings gave way to light and stiff custom DT wheels with well-known and trusted 350 hubs upgraded to 36 tooth ratchet ring and XM421 welded rims. I also equipped OIS with a 16-16 STS Sigma speedometer and my favorite and very strong Mactronic Redline rear light. For proper shoe support and the best weight to enduro ratio, I installed one-up composite pedals. If you want to know more about those parts, I invite you to check my previous movies, to which links you can find in the upper right corner and in the description. OIS is a very good bike for XC racing and light trail riding. It has a great acceleration and 120-120 suspension at the same time guarantees quite a good off-road capabilities. After my changes, bike with the tubeless wheels weighs 12.9 kg and its specification is now better than H10TR version, from which, after selling all parts, it's also cheaper. So if you like making changes and searching for sales in internet, I can honestly recommend buying H30 as a good base for big modifications. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions, feel free to write in the comments, and if you like the video, drop a like and subscribe my channel, where I publish new movies every Monday and Thursday. See ya!